All right, the day has finally come. This thing is gone. And actually the other one's not here, but it's in the boot. Um, that one will be going in soon. So waiting for the rest of the boys, uh, Brett and Reese. we're gonna yank this thing out. Hopefully disassemble it today. If not, we'll do it another time and see what was actually wrong. Um, and basically every hour after work or whatever, I can start taking stuff from this, putting on the new motor, um, getting everything built up basically ready to go and yeah and I'm actually also going to be custom making an exhaust manifold so I'll be using this as the mock-up motor and if I can make them efficiently I'll actually probably start uh, manufacturing and selling them if people are interested so keep that in mind and yeah let's pull this thing out Alright, so by all means I've never done this before, but I've seen plenty of videos and I've worked on it enough to know basically what needs to happen. So what I've done is basically uh, intake off, going to pull the rad out, uh, disconnect everything kind of associated that doesn't need to be on the motor. Um, I'm going to leave the turbo on the exhaust system because it, all you guys with Subarus know what a pain in the ass that is to do on the car. So I'll leave that on, uh, basically pull the intake manifold off, uh, disconnect the gearbox, and we should be able to, um, I know a lot of guys use the intake manifold uh, mounting bolts for the engine, or for the engine hoist. So we should be able to literally, once it's all disconnected, um, yeah, just crack it off from the gearbox and just lift it straight up out over the front. So yeah, we'll see how it actually plays out. But. That's the uh, battle plan so far. Alright, so we've got the boys pulling this shit apart. For the manifold? Yeah. Um, what manifold is that, bro? It's just a manifold. Any manifold? Just any of them. Like that now, oh, sweet. <laughs> One of the bright orange fucker. <laughs> Alright, so I'm sure a lot of you have seen this before. Um, it's a good idea to any loose bolts, basically bag and tag them. And I suppose another useful thing is if you don't want to bleed your aircon system, um, Brett's just disconnected the AC compressor. So we're hoping to kind of lean it out of the way somewhere there. If not, Brett's just going to have to stay here and hold it all day. Um, and yeah, I've dropped the, the exhaust off. So I think we just got to, I suppose if you can take the starter off, Brett, take that off and then we can start undoing the bell housing bolts. Oh yeah, one I took out the engine stand. <laughs> Coming along. First milestone, intake manifolds off, so you can see how much more basic everything looks now. Is that new? No. Oh. Yeah. Did you have to buy that specifically for this job? You don't need one but I've pulled engines before with just a chain and Not fun. It's, it's good to be able to change the center of gravity, so yeah. So how are you doing, mate? <laughs> oh, you know, mate, just get, getting amongst it. That one with the motor. <laughs> All right, so we're basically ready to pull this thing out but we're having a bit of an issue the box seems to be well and truly mated to the motor we've got all the bolts out i know normally there's a like a 
little bolt you got to pull off somewhere down here to pull out the fork but because this is an 07 WRX box it doesn't appear to be there so This thing is fucking levitated out of the engine bay. I love when that happens. Good go again. Put it on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly used. How much are they new? There's half a life left, so it's worth half as much. Never been thrashed, one lady owner, only highway K's. You know, all the usual. Yep. Is that how you're going to advertise your car when you sell it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> My mum's going to be selling it, though. When people come to the door, she's going to be like, yeah, it's mine. <laughs> Why we put the motor on the ground? Makes too much sense. You might have to. <laughs> Hey! Jesus, that's not the mill. Yeah, that's a bad joint. Yeah, that's a bad joint. Yeah, how good. Look at this. Whoever fucking welded this up. Oh my god. Didn't get the plate square. What a fucking idiot. idiot. Well, how much was this, mate? 80 bucks. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> you happy, mate? Yeah. Now I've realised how much fucking work I've got. What'd you expect? I don't know. <laughs> Just caught up in the moment. <laughs> Just living the dream. Well. So I'm guessing you guys can probably figure out what the fuck's going on here. Like uh -huh. seriously. How many of you guys watching have had problems with these stupid exhaust heat shield bolts? Ah, oh, so close, man. Almost can get to that one. All right, so we've just taken the exhaust manifold off um, and the turbo, obviously. Uh, we've just taken the dipstick off, undone all the sump bolts. So we're gonna now take the sump off and see if we can see any evidence of what happened. I doubt it. Yeah, it's pretty hard to see inside these things. Nice work, Subaru. <laughs> you dicks. <laughs> Coming from an Evo owner. <laughs> Mate, RTV again. Don't even need bolts. No, you don't. This would also suck on the car. Oh. Jesus. Things we've all done before. Use more RTV next time, bro. Whoa. 
with that get in there? What the hell is that? <laughs> How did that get there? It's um, it's a type of sealer. It looks like some sort of RTV shit. Like fair bit of old uh, sump gasket. Fair bit of metallic in there. Wait, let it focus. Oh my god, it's bearing central in there. Look at that. So I think what we'll do, we'll just take this off. Um, have a quick look, then we'll re the recoup another day and basically pull the heads off, split the block, and then see what happened. And then I'm going to put it back together, put the heads back on, and then I'll use this as a mock up motor basically to, to make my exhaust manifolds. So, yeah, pretty decent day's work. Not only, bad. Took, only took what, like, if we did this again, we could probably do it in two hours, I reckon. Oh, look, a lot of us were just shit talking. <laughs> I know I didn't do much work. <laughs> Making farty noises. It's farting. Oh, she got the fart out here. Oh. oh, nothing, nothing obvious so far. Obviously. That Somehow seems a bit wobbly. There's definitely a bearing eaten up somewhere, but... Who wants to make a bet on which one? Fuck. I don't know. I reckon this one. I reckon this one. You reckon the end one as well? Oh, I don't no, know. this one move. See how they all move with it? They all move with it. That one doesn't. This one's solid. And that's your looks like number one. Oh yeah. Look how much movement that's got. Yeah, that's it there. Num number uno, I reckon. But that will be your power, I reckon. Yeah, that doesn't look too normal. Yeah, I shouldn't be doing that. Definitely not. Yeah, there's the right knock. The there's the knocking noise. That's Set of bearings, that. fucking put it back in. Run the boost up to forty. Should make four hundred kilowatt, mate. <laughs> fucking no worries. Alright. Well, I suppose that's it for today. Pack up this fucking mess. And Feel sorry for you, mate. <laughs> Why do you think I got you guys here? <laughs> oh, I hear my mum calling me, mate. I gotta go. Uh, <laughs> Mummy, dinner's on. <laughs> to be continued.